Hi gang, this is Ben, K4ZEP in the world's smallest lab. And here's my latest little Thomas motor. It's a miniaturized version. Uh, if we can get the light at the... You can see how big it is. Uh, there we go. Running on uh, about 5 volts. It's uh, only running on 56 milliamps. Uh, you can hardly hear it run. You remember the other one? It sounded like a uh, like a jet engine taking off. Well, I'm going to speed this one up now, and you can listen to this one run. We're going to go up to 15 volts here. And at 15 volts, it's drawing uh, 144 milliamps right now. 141, and as it speeds up, the current does drop. But it's uh, it's kind of cool. I had contemplated adding and contemplated adding more coils to it, but I got a another very special motor I'm building that's going to take six to eight uh, coils, and I just despise winding coils. So. Uh, I just wanted to show you my latest little endeavor on making a small motor. You can see the old thrashing machine here that I originally built to test out the ideas. Now this is a refined version, much smaller and much quieter. The clearance in this motor is only about five thousandths of an inch between the coils and the magnets. Could have made it closer, but uh, it's good enough for what we were doing here now. And. Uh, the next motor I think will surprise you. It will not look anything like this, but we'll use the same principle. Uh, but I'm waiting for some uh, ceramic bearings from China uh, to build this thing the way I want to do it. So that's all. This has been World's Smallest Lab, K4ZEP, and I'm out of here.